um, like all aircrafts, that makes sure it's nice and square on the skids, not looking crooked. Pedo covers off. Um, if you're going to put a canopy cover on, you can lock that down like that. Okay. So um, make sure it's up so you've yep. got it. Security of your mirrors and everything like that. These are pretty easily removable. Um, you can have a look under here. So these are your quick releases for the belly panel. Gotcha. So all secure. Um, We've got the wire strike kit on there. You can see high intensity landing lights. Um, these are our temperature probes down the bottom here. Gotcha. Um, and our, sorry, they're static ports down the bottom there. That's your temperature probe there. Yep. So that's for our pedostatic system. Yep. So they're not blocked. Um, we've got the mounts for the cargo swing there as well. Uh, this PA system and siren. Um, Basically, we just to, to condition. This is your side um, baggage compartment. Yeah. Air conditioner there. So to open these, press the button there and there, and then like that, it'll come on up. Um, you've got a little strut here to hold that open. Yeah. It just clips in down the bottom there. Okay. So that's your air conditioning unit there. Um, fuel batteries in this machine. Um, generally, there'd be a well, there's usually a restraint here as well you can put in. Yep. Um, this is your dampener here for the right hand side. Gotcha. So looking for any leaking of oil or anything around the top of that. Yep. Um, and that, yeah, just general condition of your, that's your circuit breakers for your um, air conditioner. Um, that's about all you need in here. Got it. Um, so the clothes just push in until it clips, mm -hmm. and then two safety catches. All right, to open these up, just open that up first. You pull down on the ring, lift that up, and then it'll pop open like that. Okay. Pull down the ring? Yeah. And then lift it up. All right, gotcha. And then you just unclip that, yeah. Just don't get that on the outside, that's it. When there's just one of the little um, ones at the top, just push on that. All right, now we lift this one up. We've got another strut there we can put down here to hold that open. All right, so main motor gearbox compartment, engine oil, mm. check the level. Uh, if it's getting low, we can just top it up through this one here. Um, we've got our hydraulic oil level up the top there. Got our servos. Um, I'm just looking for any leaking of any oil. Um, it's all nice and dry in here, no leaking of anything. Um, what else have we got? So there's your hydraulic pump there. Yep. Belt tension and condition. Um, that's your cooling fan up the top there. Yep. Um, that's your hydraulic test switch um, isolator. Uh -huh. I don't remember what it's called, little actuator. Um, you can see the condition of your dog bone down the bottom there, oh, so right. your um, torsion. Um, oh yeah, they're the rubber. Yeah, yeah so they, they're the ones uh, that you don't torque. want to install. Yeah, yeah, yeah. to absorb the torque. Um, you've got your, um, can't really see it in here, but uh, the rotor brakes in there as well. Oh, yeah. um, that's it, yeah. yeah. Main rotor right drive shafts coming in from the engine there. You obviously shouldn't have any liquid or fluid no, in here at all. No, it should be very dry, yeah. yeah. Um, this is it for when you're doing your compressor rinse as well. Okay. Um, that's your compressor rinse hose there. Um, yeah, just same as all the aircraft, you're taking all your connections for all your hydraulics, snow leaking, mm. your engine oil um, return lines and things, no leaking. That's your... Um, should be a chip plug there. Mm -hmm. um, pretty sure. I have to double check that. I'm pretty sure that's a chip plug. That's your press, pressure switch there. Like it, yeah. Yeah. Um, that's your filter with mm -hmm. your uh, main rotor gearbox oil. Mm -hmm. um, and you can see it goes up to the cooler there. That's your radiator at the top there. Yeah. Um, and then these are all your injection points for. Um, these ones here. Oh, sorry, that's a 
that'd be your main road of pick up there. Mm. I'm fairly sure. And then you should be able to see. Yeah. These ones here are your injection points for your oil. Yeah. So um, for cooling of the main road of your box. Okay. Right. Makes sense. Happy? Yep. Two of these on each side. Mm -hmm. I'll just around the other side and uncork them as well. All right. Just the two-man effort. Uh, you can do it by yourself. It's easier with two people. Yeah. Um, I might jump up this side because there's the strut on this side to put down. So you can just just make sure the blades are side oh, yeah. to side. Gotcha. Yeah. Right, here we can just pop up onto the engine here. Gotcha. Right, engine. So we've got. Here you can jump up here. Sure. Um, start a generator. Two plugs. The chip plug up the back here. Yep. Um, these are our ignition system here. Mm. Burn chamber. Yep, same again, no, no real leaks, no, should see nothing, yep. should be quite dry. So there's your engine fire detectors here, there's a couple of them around. Yep. Um, the lead valve's on the other side, we'll go have a look at that. Um, but yeah, just general condition, no fluids or anything. Yep. They run very dry, there shouldn't be any leaking at all. Okay. Alright, cool. Um, yeah. General condition. I'll leave that open for now. I'll come yeah, down sure. and save you. Um, oh. oh, there's the uh, straight you talked about. Yep. yep. Um, what you want to have a look along here is this bond line should be nice and symmetrical. Um, if it's had a heavy landing, that'll squish. So mm. you'll have no gap here and a big gap up the top. Okay. So just make sure that is sealed and nice and symmetrical. Mm. Obviously, all your rivets and everything like normal. Make sure there's no working rivets. That's your external power. Yeah. Um, it's just a push. Yep. Yeah, cool. Um, I read a drive shaft runs through the top here. Um, there's nothing running inside the turbo. Um, your horizontal stabiliser here should be secure, should yeah. be any movement there. Okay. Looking for any cracking around the doublers here. Yep. Um, shouldn't be a, sorry, you should be able to see through to the other side there. Mm. You can see we can see right through there. Yeah. And then just condition yeah, any damage to the leading edge or anything like that. Um, Very good touch up there. Hang around. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alright, we're we'll coming to the tail rotor itself. So. Um, obviously, like all tail rotor blades, look for the leading edge, nice and smooth, no stone chips or dents. The blade itself is in good condition, no cracking or anything like that. Um, you have a look at the trailing edge of the blade there. Um, there's no uh, cracking along the trailing edge at all. This is your little um, tip tab. Uh, see if it's contacted anything at all. Yeah. And then coming to the root of the blade, so if you push just gently on both sides, you don't have to move it very much. Oh uh, yeah, gotcha. But you can see they both flex like that and there's no noise. Yep. Um, so if you heard any creaking or cracking noises, um, it could be the, the spar that runs all uh -huh. the way through. Um, either cracked or damaged inside. This is your um, little yeah. uh, bearings in here. So as they wear, they'll start to produce little beads of rubber and things in there as well. Yeah. Um, these are your counterweights here to reduce the load. Um, and then we've got our, another little rubber dampener in there. Yeah. The pitch links themselves, you want to check they're in good condition, not too loose. We shouldn't have any sort of rotational play in those pitch links either. 
um, this spider here. It's got a little bit of grease coming out. It's fairly new, this spider, so mm. that's why it's got a bit of grease coming out of it. We've got another chip plug here. This one's got a um, the detection light in the cabin there as well, the yeah. warning light to go with it. Um, so yeah, not too much grease coming out of that. Feeling in good condition. Mm. I'll look at the next blade. That looks good. She's there. Um, now, if it's been tied down overnight, there is a block that goes in here, tar rotor block, mm -hmm. and there's a pin that goes through there um, to try and stop it um, teetering around at night in the mm -hmm. wind. Mm -hmm. So just make sure that that is definitely removed mm -hmm. before you go flying. So a lot of people will physically put their hand in as they walk around, yep. just as a bit of a physical reminder to make sure it's removed. Um, so itself, obviously you've got your stinger down here, um, should come down, um, not be bent up, and uh, shouldn't be too many scrapes on it. <laughs> um, Is that where you grabbed it for, for the yeah, ground these handling? Are, yeah, for yeah. ground handling handles, so yep. you can pull it down on that, yep. or um, hold up the base of the stinger there. Um, oh yep. Parada oil? Yep. Uh, Stabilizer, same as the other side. Check your doublers, top and bottom. All right, fine. Um, this is where your load compensator is for the tail rotor as well. So okay. your, your extra little hydraulic rams in under this lump here. Okay. Um, yeah, check your join your bond line there as well. Um, so a radio antenna. Yeah, it's quite a long one if it is. Yeah. Um, oh, it doesn't have a HF, does it? For the ELT, I'm fairly sure. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm fairly sure that's what it is. Um, now, I, is there anything to check with these? Are these? So that's your oil, um, your vent for your oil, your okay. engine oil. Okay. It vents out the back there. It's just to um, so it gets burned yeah. off. Yeah. Yeah. Right on leaks. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. Um, Same for the other side? Is that a fuel vent? Um, I can't remember what that one is to be honest. Yeah. Um, it could be fuel. I know that's your engine oil. Okay. Yeah, I can't remember what that one is. Um, other side of your engine. Mm -hmm. uh, you can jump up there and have a look at it. Are you checking for anything in this system here at all? No, that's just an indicator of where the yeah. fuel flow control lever is. That's all adjusted by the engineers when they're yeah, doing okay. it. Yeah, okay. So there's nothing really yeah. for us to look at here. Not really. Apart just from making sure everything's aligned, there's no leaks, yeah. pins are in. Yeah. That's right. Okay. Um, you've got your, that's your bleed valve up the top there, where that blue thing is. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so it comes out of the back at the top of the engine there. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah. Oh yeah, cool. Um, yeah. Um, Alright, this is your rear baggage compartment here. Yeah. There's different versions of these. Um, yeah. The newer ones, slightly better, are actually hinged at the front here. So yeah. that when they open like that, so if you leave them open, they yeah. close by themselves. Yeah. Yeah. This one, you just have to be a bit careful in the wind because it will yeah. flop around a fair bit. Um, we've generally got the ELTs located just here. Yep. A mess in here at the moment. Three um, keys. Yeah. <laughs> so that's for your fuel cap. Oh, yeah, gotcha. So most aircraft, most yeah. squirrels will have the fuel cap key inside there. Yeah, fair to, enough. To um, go into that. Um, your master um, the electrical, electrical junction box. Yeah, mm. is under there. Um, that's about all we need in there. Yep. Yeah. Um, uh, this one does have a, an external power point here, so if you're refueling from drums and you've got an electric drum pump, you can plug it in there for refueling. Oh, is that what it's for? Gotcha. Yeah. So it's just a little external power port. Okay. Um, this side's a little bit more space. Yeah. Looks um, bigger in the in the PowerPoint. Yeah. <laughs> um, you've got your 
other dampener there. Yep. Um, so just checking the condition of that. Yep. Make sure it all looks fine. Um, yeah, cool. Right. Um, now this one has two of these clips up the top here. Oh yeah. Alright, so that's the airframe fuel filter. Yep. And that's your secondary airframe fuel filter. Yep. The train points. Yep. Your main road and gearbox level is oil level is down the bottom there. Yep. Got another chip plug down the bottom there as well. That's quite high on this side of the ball bearing sitting on there. Um is it yeah, so mm. yeah, as long as it's not below about there. Oh, yeah. There is fine. another line there. There's a white line on the top. Yeah, up the top. That's right. Okay, gotcha. That ball bearing is actually uh, just a little agitator there to clean the glass as <laughs> it bounces around. That gotcha. um, cleans the glass for you. Smart. Um, what else you got? Yeah, yeah. Two more hydraulic servos there. Yeah. Uh, you ever see sponges used in these, like the Jet Ranger? You know how they tip those <laughs> yeah. things in? Uh, no, the hydraulics don't shouldn't leak in yeah. these. Okay, cool. Um, that's your compressor motor for your air conditioner. Oh, yeah. Um, and that's your rotor brake in there. Oh, yeah. Gotcha. Cool. Uh, let's see if we might get in there. Nice. Uh, if you, you can sort of have a look down there as well. You can see the fuel tank is down straight under the main rotor gearbox in oh, there. Yeah. <clears throat> oh yeah, I see what you mean. Yep. yep. Um, oh yeah, so that's, you want to just have a look at the bypass at the top of the um, fuel filter there, make sure it hasn't bypassed. This up here? Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Should that, um, oh no, that uh, lock wire doesn't go around the top, does it? See so, yeah, there's like a little groove on the top. Oops. Almost went up. <laughs> See on there? A bit crude. Oh, yeah. I think that's just to undo it. Yeah. So it doesn't look like it does. Yeah, when it bypasses, there's a thing that pops up inside. Oh, yeah. It's not on the top. It pops oh, up right. Inside. Okay. Yep. It's pretty obvious. I've never seen one up. Yeah. I assume it is. Keep it that way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Sounds it. Yeah. Yep. Um, so if you're just doing a turnaround check and you don't want to open up all the panels, they've got these holes yeah. here, so you can actually see the oil level straight through there. Oh, cool. So you don't have to open everything up. Okay. Um, right, we'll go around the other side and then we'll jump up and have a look at the road ahead. Sure. What's the best way to get up here, one on each side or? Um, uh, you can just jump up this side if you want. Mm. So, um, that's a handhold there. Yep. So, left foot, right foot, left foot, you can hold on to that and jump up. Yeah. You can hold on to this? Yep. And then you can put right foot on the...
so there's your swipe plate so pitch links should have movement but not loose yeah this is your droop stops here yeah um your star flakes these have been known to crack mm. so keep an eye on them there's your spherical thrust bearings here so check the condition of them of these guys as well so they have had cracking around the edges here mm. so just watch out for them um, your blade pins are secure these are just earthing straps here okay um into the these are your vibration dampeners up the top yep big, big, big springs. springs yep um then yeah just condition the boot um your post flight you'll put your hand on here and just check oh, the temperature right. that's the um yep and uh i usually check down there as well just make mm. sure there's not too much heat transfer down to the bottom okay this is your barrier filter yeah um so try not to damage the mesh because yeah. it's sort of clogs it up a fair bit um but obviously you want to check that's in good condition they don't have too much debris. there's nowhere to clean this you've just um, got to take it off by the look of it yeah they take it off and they can replace this filter okay um i think they can blow it out with the air compressor from the other side as well but um yep then obviously you want to check the blades themselves so uh, have a bit of a just watch your head there have a look down the blade itself um leading edge trailing edge no denting or anything um have a look down the top side as well so much uh, smaller than a robo <laughs> Um, the uh, yeah, this is basically just a little rain cap to keep it all tidy underneath. Yeah, um, you want to check the condition of these as well. This is where a lot of your load is actually coming through. Yeah, um, so just make sure they're in good condition. A pretty big pin these ones yes yeah yeah but as you can see they're just that they're just a pin mm. um so fairly fast to remove the blades um yeah so in flight obviously these flex up mm. and so it comes off the droop stop here but um that's just uh, all right. That looks good. Cool. Now it talks about um, leaving the blades in a certain yeah. So we leave one blade out the front, so two back blades are not over the exhaust. So if you gotcha. leave one blade out over the exhaust when you start up, you get a lot of heat going onto the blade, yeah, yep. which is obviously not very good for it. So we leave the blades off to the side. So when hmm. we start up, it, we're not having one blade sitting over the hot exhaust. Okay. All right. Yep. Awesome.